So you've got a lot of trouble um, that you're going through at the moment or you're doing at the moment. It might be that you're doing some international travel or a lot of communication on the international front. So you could be over the internet or doing a, work, a job that involves communicating with lots of people from all around the world. And this is about work because you've got Saturn there in the background. Um, so you are uh, putting out a lot of information into the world. And, you know, you've got um, uh, Jupiter here in uh, Sagittarius. This is talking about foreigners or dealing with foreign people or, or dealing with people that, you, you know, are not from your culture, if you like. Um, and uh, this is about new ideas and new innovations. It might be something scientific uh, that you're doing as well, because you've got Mars sitting here in uh, Aquarius. There might be some difficult customers that you're dealing with, but you're definitely enjoying your work. And But this could also be that you're doing a lot of travel and enjoying it. And you really are focused on your work over here. You've got Saturn in Capricorn over here. You can see this person is really focused and you're trying to climb that la um, that career ladder and reach the top over here. So very, very much focused. You've got the new sun rising over here. So this might be a new job that you've just started and it involves, you know, there's uh, quite a lot for you to do. And there's also quite a, um, a good career uh, prospects that are involved with it. So you are trying to get over to the top and you're very, very focused on it. So it looks like, um, you know, you've started this new job of here. Again, you've got Saturn in Capricorn of here, really focused, and you've let go of something in the past, an old job, because you've got Pluto, which is a sign of endings or death of something. So something that has been, you've let go of the past, and you've let go of the old, and you are now moving up this particular staircase, this career ladder. So this card is talking very, very much about, uh, you know, um, a transformation or transition that you've made, uh, you've uh, ended something in the past, an old job in the past, and now you're focused on a new career path and moving forward. And this career path, um, you know, where it kept you stagnant in the in the past, has now you know opened up the world for you. So you are moving quite a bit. So you're very very focused on your work. So in the past year or so, you, it looks like you know you had a very very strong uh, relationship over here. You've got Mars in. Um, uh, um, Aries here and you've got Venus in Taurus so a very very uh, strong sexual relationship that you seem to have been involved in in the past and you also have made a leap um, you know this is taking that leap of faith over here so it looks like you may have uh, done a lot of studying or done a lot of courses because you've got um, uh, Mercury here in Gemini and this is about a lot of mental energy being focused on something and now you are now um, uh, you know, this is probably training for this job that you had, are doing at the moment. You've taken your leap of faith. You are, you've branched off or started something brand new. So going into the future here, you've got uh, focusing, um, you know, on that work. Um, this is um, Sun in Leo. So getting a lot of acclaim, uh, a lot of recognition for what you're doing. Working with people. This is also working on that international front, you know, away from what you usually are used to and um, maybe in a warmer climate that's where you're working at working with somebody and you have started a new project there so maybe it's something that was launched overseas and uh, you are working with somebody at the moment collaborating with them um, you know you're, you're building a foundation it's almost like you're you're starting uh, from the ground up and starting something brand new and it's going to have a, a lot of long-term uh, implications as well so something that you're working very hard at um, because with the sun card, it's always about work, uh, focus your energy on that work. And you can see there's a lot of accolades. Um, so you will be uh, maybe doing a lot of studying or you're doing a lot of learning on this particular job as well. So you're learning new things and you're applying them as well. You've got Mercury here in Virgo. So this is very focused on that work. And the Jupiter here in uh, Sagittarius is talking about expansion, getting out there, putting that energy out there. Um, you know, this is about higher learning and um, it's also communicating with people on that international front so all the virgo uh, tends to be a um, sign where you know you uh, keep to yourself and it's it's a very lonely sign because you've got this jupiter here in in sagittarius it's about expanding your horizons so whatever you're doing whatever studying you're focusing on uh, there's a lot of acclaim that's coming with it and you will be you know uh, putting your message out to a larger audience so you know a lot of international work coming on maybe some travel Maybe you will be relocating to do your job as well with this uh, sun here in uh, Leo, but there's a lot of acclaim. Um, so a lot of people recognizing your skills and talents and working with a lot of people. So something new that you've started out and very, very work focused at this particular moment. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm using the golden tarot. 
by Cat Black. This is the really beautiful deck. Um, so if you like it, uh, I've put it in the description box. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, you've got the Queen of Swords over here as the main energies, and this is, and you've got the butterfly there for transformation. This is about being very determined, and you're communicating uh, your ideas quite clearly to a lot of people at this particular moment. You might be in charge of a particular project, um, but you're taking the lead role over there, and you're, you know, very determined to get things done. Uh, you know, nobody's standing in your way. You are very much in charge, and you're not taking in. You know, you're being very, very uh, logical very cold about whatever you're doing. Uh, you're not uh, allowing people to sway your opinions. So you're very, very much in charge and you're getting the job done. You're speaking that truth of yours. And, uh, you know, very, very much a leader over there. So, uh, you know, taking that leadership role. So you're communicating a lot of ideas. This could be a lot of scientific ideas as well that you are communicating um, out there. So what's happening with you? You've got the Strength card and it's crossed by the uh, Seven of Wands. So you are facing a lot of, um, you know, difficult situations. You've got a lot of people with their opinions. Uh, you need to stand up for yourself and you do have the Strength card. So this is dealing with any kind of problems, uh, but dealing with it and having, you know, coping with it pretty well. So this is drawing from your inner strength, being in charge, uh, taking a lead role and sorting out the problem. So you have what it takes to actually be in that leadership role. And you can see with the Queen of Swords, it's about being in a leadership role over there. So you are very, very much in charge um, and you're taking control of that particular situation. Nothing is going to uh, deter you from what you want to get done. With the Three of Wands, it's working with a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people on the international front. So whatever job you've started has got, um, you know, you're you're out there. Um, you this could also be about travel, so you could be traveling. And but whatever project you are dealing with has got that international flavor with it. A lot of international communication, maybe a lot of emails, um, and heading some kind of project because this is launching your ships out. So whatever you started, you're putting it out there, and you are hoping for it to be successful. And you are in charge. You are you might be a team leader or somebody that is in charge of this particular project that is going out. So with the magician, it's about being very, very busy. It's having all that you have to handle, having to handle a lot of communication. You've got a lot of birds over here and it's having to handle a lot of information. Now you've got all the skills. You're very, very well trained for this particular job. You can see it's got all the, the suits on, on the table over here, but it's also about multitasking, uh, speaking to a lot of people, being very diplomatic about what you do and making sure you're in charge. So, uh, and you're manifesting with this card, it's manifesting. So whatever ideas you have, you're managing to communicate it with this queen of swords and it is coming to light. It is, you know, taking root, uh, and you've been, you're very, very busy. So, you know, you're trying to um, manage your time uh, and you're trying to find that balance, I think, between your work and your um, um, personal life. But it seems like work is taking precedent over here. There's a lot of mental energy with this card because it is a card ruled by Mercury. So not only does it deal with communication, but you have to think quickly and fast on your feet as well. Now, you are, with the Nine of Swords, uh, you know, still very anxious about what you're doing, always expecting the worst case scenario, worst outcome. So you are not sleeping very well, um, you know, and there's a lot of anxiety in what you're doing. So you are a bit stressed out uh, from handling all the things that you're handling. Maybe these difficulties that you're facing are um, stressing you out. But since you are on higher ground here, this person's higher than all these, whatever opinions um, or whatever problems you're facing, you can deal with it and sort it out because you will be victorious because you are uh, above, uh, you know, you will be able to overcome it. So you've got the Four of Cups over here, and this is about a new offer coming in. You're not very thrilled about it. You can see there is this woman with her hands crossed over her chest over there. So something coming in for you, an offer, or maybe some kind of... Um, uh, you're some kind of proposal that you didn't consider before and you're not really willing to consider it. Maybe you don't think it is something that is worth considering. Now, because it's being brought in by this angel over here, it might be well worth looking into. It might be something small. It might be something irritating, but it's just something that you need to consider and don't ignore it. So whatever is coming in, whatever information, whatever offer is coming in for you, it is something worth considering or even employing in, in whatever you're doing 
um, in order for you to make that change. It is something that is going to bring in some kind of stability. It is, it's almost, you know, it's almost like it's being divinely guided to you. So don't ignore it. Now you've got the four of swords over here and this is how you're feeling. This is a lot of stress and anxiety that you're going through and maybe you're not feeling, uh, you know, maybe you've been dealing with an illness recently. You can see this person's held up in bed. But there's also, uh, you, you might be feeling like you need to take a time out and retreat a little bit, have a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break um, to reconsider whatever's going on. So whatever these problems are, you you know, you might be, um, um, you know, thinking that it's, worse than what it is because although these are rods you are you know you are seeing them as being swords you know something that is dangerous or something that is going to be uh, very detrimental you need to take a little bit of a break stand back from the situation and review it um, and get a better perspective about what is happening now you have what it takes to deal with the situation because this person's got the sword lying next to them you need to pick it up and sort it out so you you have got the skill you've got what it takes you've got Whatever you say is going to make a difference. So you need to actually employ that. You need to take your power and use it. This woman's got the sword in her hand. So stand up for what you are and say what you've got to say and do what you need to do. Uh, you know, don't consider anybody else's opinions in this, uh, this thing. You have got uh, the weapon in your hand. You've got the information uh, with you and you can use that to sort those problems out. Don't let it stress you out to such an extent that you are you know, feeling listless or feeling depressed or feeling ill. So don't let it give you any kind of stress illness. Now you've got the five of coins coming in over here. Uh, you know, there might have been some kind of loss uh, going on around you. You are worried about money. Maybe you're worried that you're going to be losing this job if you say something too uh, too much. So, uh, you know, something that's going to upset people. Uh, with the five of coins, it's really, uh, you know, having a, a lot of financial worries or feeling a sense of lack, feeling as though whatever you're doing is not making a difference. Um, and uh, maybe you feel as though, uh, you know, you're not getting any kind of rewards from whatever you're doing at this moment. So this could be some financial worries. This could be even unforeseen expenses that come in for you. So just watch out for that. So the temperance card is about finding that balance, uh, getting back on track and also healing. If you have been going through any kind of illness, uh, it's, you know, um, you're hoping to, to heal from it and you're hoping to find that balance again. This is also, you know, uh, a need to take advice from people around you. So going into the future, you've got the Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Six of Wands. Now, the Page of Cups is another offer that is coming. So you've got two cards of offer here. The Page of Cups, even though this offer that you're not... Um, Want, you don't want to consider um, in this Four of Cups comes again to you in this Page of Cups. So somebody is bringing some kind of offer to you. And if you look closely at it, it's going to be something uh, that you can use. So even though it seems that, you know, it, you know, you want to ignore it or you want to disregard it, it actually has got uh, some merit to it. Now, this could also be new studying that you're doing or taking on a new course or doing further training. Maybe this is an offer for you to go ahead and do further training. Um, you know, maybe somebody's going to sponsor you in that kind of way. And it is something that you should accept. So some kind of offer coming in and, uh, you know, most likely in the form of study or in the form of further education. It's in the form of education that it comes in for you. This could also be some kind of social invitation as well. So that also comes in. The chariot is about taking control. So this is having mental control of the situation. You see this woman's on this boat and it's being pulled by swans. Now there's no reins over here, so she's controlling it mentally. So you need to actually, um, you know, get your mind back in order, get your focus back in order. Uh, and this is a card of achievement. The chariot is usually about achieving uh, your goals. So whatever you decide, once you get your mind back on track again, you will be able to uh, sort it out and you will be victorious in whatever it is you're doing. This could also be a home move. This could also be travel. This could also be relocating to that to do that particular job. But you've got the Six of Wands, and this is a card about victory. So whatever you are doing, if you take control of that situation, and you trust and you have the confidence in yourself, you will be completely victorious in it. Um, so, you know, even though you're going to have to deal with problems, the Six of Wands is victory after battle. So usually after, you know... Um, um, sorting out all these problems that you were dealing with here. You will be victorious in it. 
um, you will be victorious and uh, you will overcome it. These people are moving away, moving forward. So whatever battles you will have, you will be uh, able to overcome it. And you can see this person is in the lead here. So whatever projects you're doing, whatever um, you know, uh, difficult people you're dealing with, you are going to be able to sort it out and you will be victorious. But you need to be the person that takes control with this chariot. Uh, you need to find that direction and the determination. And like I said, there is that offer that is on the table. Uh, look carefully at it. Don't ignore it. It is something that you do need to consider. It's got merit to it. It is something um, maybe you're not really interested in, but it is something that you do need to uh, address and, and accept, really. So this is the um, Angel Tarot, and this is the Oracle Read, and it says, Challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. So there is some kind of information, something coming in for you here, and um, you need to, um, you know, deal with it. Uh, it is going to cause a little bit of a stir up. This could be something legal, something official that comes in that changes, uh, you know, the game. A little bit uh, but um, you know you need to deal with it and uh, as they said there might be some delays or you need to change your plans accordingly adapt to the situation you've got the five of earth here again now you are worried about loss so there's something that this information brings in with this um, uh, page of air bringing some kind of information that you know you would perceive as being a loss you've got it here twice so some kind of um, loss coming in so maybe a project not working out like like you wanted it to work out so fear surrounding money, wisdom to accept help from others, um, uncertain self-employment. So uh, whatever this news is going to come in, it's going to be, you know, it's not such, it, the news is not such a, a great thing. Uh, you might perceive it as, as loss and it's going to cause some kind of um, upset to you, but you're going to have to deal with it. It is challenging information. It's got the five of earth associated with it. So it, it's something that, you know, um, affects your stability. It affects maybe your money in some kind of way maybe affects your earnings in some kind of way so just be aware that that could well come in it could be even a project that doesn't work out quite like how you wanted it to so maybe there's some loss that's associated with that particular project but you're going to have to walk away from it you've got the eight of water over here a desire to move on in search of something more meaningful so whatever this um, information that comes in that ha causes this problem uh, you're going to have to just leave it behind and walk away from it because it's not something that you can actually sort out it's best to actually walk away from whatever drama it brings with it so just be aware that there could be some kind of challenging information that causes a little bit of a problem but you're going to have to just uh, you know accept it and walk away from it and try and go down a different path um, uh, to sort things out there is that uh, offer coming in please don't uh, miss it um, and make sure that you are taking control. There is going to be victory for you. So you are going to overcome whatever. The, our final outcome is the Six of Wands, which is a celebration card, and it is about achievement, and it is about winning. Um, so you will come out on top in the end. So whatever problems you're dealing with are minor, uh, in the sense that you will be able to cope with it. You've got the strength to do it, because the first card that fell was the strength card. So you have got the authority and the strength to deal with it. Uh, and, you know, you're going to just have to adapt um, to the circumstance and you will be able to be victorious in it. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.